Good afternoon. I am here in my bedroom, and um, it is the first day of my menstruation. So um, I I had my menstrual cramps earlier, but however, my nephew Caleb gave me a cup of coffee, and I feel better. I have been praying the Holy Rosary. And yeah, thank God for the special touch from God because I feel better now. So earlier, um, by the way, um, I am currently here in my bedroom. And so yeah, uh, thank you so much. So by the way, earlier today, I have been crying because I have been contemplating. Because I have been contemplating about the United States of America because they have election they, they will be having elections and i really really desire to campaign for president donald trump i want to i want to campaign for him because because i want him to win the election because actually um it it really it really touches my heart so much regarding the united states of america because um you know what i want to be I want to be accurate about it, so I'll just get the encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, so kind of sweet. So I took the encyclopedia, and I see this one: the Great Seal of the United States. Yeah, uh, reflect uh, the. the the Great Seal of the United States is affixed to certain official documents specif specif specified by law to assess their authenticity. The design incorporates the National Coat of Arms featuring the American bald eagle with spread wings, the olive branch, and the arrows held in the eagles. Talons reflect both the nation's commitment to peace and its willingness to fight if necessary. So, um... Yeah, I'm just I'm just looking at this portion from the encyclopedia because it amazes me. Because actually, to be honest, um, I'm usually praying and I'm usually reading the Holy Bible, so I am not usually reading the encyclopedia. But I have encountered to open some of the pages of the encyclopedia because of because of the beauty of the pictures because there are several colored pictures and this encyclopedia is, is so amazing because ever since when i was a little girl this uh, this encyclopedia has always been here in the house and it it is printed with color <laughs> so by the way um it is very amazing to really look at the the human dignity because um, I believe in my heart that a very good leader really desires to be protecting human dignity because actually I really really desire for Mr. Donald Trump to really win the elections because um, I noticed that he is righteous and he is a man of God and he honors the Lord Jesus Christ and we really really need a leader who loves God and a person who pray, especially with a very great uh, blessedness of divine protection in his life. Because when it comes to Mr. Donald Trump, there was an attempt for his life uh, during the campaign. And then the situation is, he is protected divinely and he is having a very good uh, blessedness from God to protect him. And praise God, hallelujah. That, that protection is coming from the Lord. It is grace and mercy from God. And that is the reason why it is very important to, to, really, to really pray for a good leader. Because a good leader will really promote the reading of the Holy Bible. And, and I noticed that when it comes to President Donald Trump, when he did his work in the office, he studied the Holy Bible together with his fellow teammates um i wonder what is the terminology for that um what i'm trying to say is the group of people whom he is working with they were studying the holy bible and that is very good because because the legal system of a nation is deeply established by the very 
guidance that comes from God because of the law of the Lord of the Holy Bible that the way that a good leader is really understanding the message of the Holy Bible that from the Matthew 25 40 speaks that whatever you do to the least of my brethren you also did it to me as the Lord Jesus said so it is very important that the leader has a very great passion in his heart to really serve the nation that the serving of the nation is to understand that we see God in each and every one of us yeah we encounter God in everyone especially when it comes to to the importance to protect people from the violent it is very important that the community is very prayerful because prayers are very powerful to really protect people from violence as well as the natural causes that takes an effect of the struggles and the challenges that come upon a nation especially in america there were several people who have suffered hurricane there are several people um, experience a certain natural causes of those elements of nature that takes an effect for the trials that come upon the situation in human lifestyle that's why some people have suffered hurricane and it's very important to understand that when you look at america america is very affluent um like for example you lo you look at the new york times square and then you see uh, the led lights you see them promoting several products um how expensive things are and the building that are established with a very good architecture and interior design and engineering however when you look at the condition of the heart of the people you may notice that of course many people are wearing decent clothes fancy clothes suits and tie um fashionable clothes um looking so really good and looking so pleasant however it's very important for the people to to enrich their knowledge about god more than what is in the surface of the external factors because what is important is the person understands the armor of god and it's very important that the person understands that we are given the robe of righteousness because it is very important for the self-esteem of an individual to really really exceed into the expression of great confidence in god because when a person understands a person's identity in god the person will really really have the confidence in life because because several stories in america there are several people who commit suicide and it's very important to really address that matter because we have to be concerned about the condition of human soul because the true culmination of the nation is the condition of the soul of the people that's why that's why when you look at the affluence of america wow they look really really rich they have expensive cars they have expensive buildings uh several things about the pleasant looking fashion industry something like that so you may notice that america is rich however there is a very great importance to really enrich the soul of the person because what is more important is more than the outer appearance which is the condition of the soul of the person most especially um with regards to the words of the lord jesus the lord jesus speaks that nothing else is more precious than your soul yeah mark eight thirty seven. so nothing else is more precious than your soul that's why when you look at the condition of united states of america uh, you can really really have compassion for them because you may understand that they are really affluent but there is poverty of the gospel many people are yet to come to the knowledge of the gospel especially it is very important for the culmination of the nation for the condition of the souls of the people that resonates to the heart that there is so much love for god because the written law is written in the heart of the person and it is very important to obey the words of god because when a person obey god's commands the person will be given wisdom without measure 
and God loves faithfulness and gentleness. And in the situation of nowadays, there is so much great importance about faithfulness and gentleness because when we are gentle, we do the act of nurture that we care so much about the condition of human dignity as as well as to live a life with purity and holiness because because when we when we do about our care and concerns for the people of a nation we may understand that their human dignity is very protected because of the way of life that they have so much of the freedom to express their faith as well as the freedom the freedom of the spirit um the enlivening of the situation people are not oppressed people have freedom most especially it's very important to really look at the holy word particularly about the relationship of a person to god because it is very important that the person the leader has a very good relationship with god because it is understanding that whatever the commandment of the lord such as love uh, love one another as i have loved you so what i'm trying to say is to the commandment of god to love one another as i have loved you it is very uh, important situation of a leader to be very loving and to be very understanding especially to be very prayerful because uh, the beginning of justice is prayer because god is the god of justice and his justice saves through faith and you may understand that um in the presence of the father the lord jesus is uh in the very heart and in the very uh, uh way of um uh the countenance of the lord jesus is always present in the presence of the father and and when the father looks at us the father see the lord jesus uh as he looks at us that the way that the lord jesus suffered so greatly in his passion for the salvation of souls his wounds are pleading in the presence of the father to forgive us for our sins so it is very beautiful situation for a person to repent for sins and really really declare the faith of speaking the words that jesus is lord and it is very important because when we believe about the crucifixion and we believe about the resurrection and we declare with our lips and we believe in our hearts we can rejoice about the joy of salvation because we can rejoice being saved uh, such as in the book of romans chapter 10 um yeah kindly please look romans 10 um let me double check this one um yeah because it is very important to declare that jesus is lord uh, because actually during the the situation of campaign uh, there are some people uh, speaking the words with with their with their way of expression that they speak jesus is lord yeah and you may really notice a very righteous individual that they will really acknowledge that yes jesus is lord that's why this one over here romans 10 8 true righteousness coming from faith also says the, the word of god is near you on your lips and in your hearts this is the message that we preach and this is faith you are saved if you confess with your lips that jesus is lord and in your heart you believe that god raised him from the dead by believing from the heart you obtain true righteousness by confessing the faith with your lips you are saved so um, it is very important to declare that Jesus is Lord. You know what? Um, when, when I just want to be honest and sincere, I really, really have compassion for America. However, to my joy, I feel so happy because you will really, really notice that there are so many Christians in the United States of America. And... There was a recent situation in the Times Square that when you look at the Times Square in New York, you will notice that there are several LED lights that they are doing some advertisement. But you may notice that during the Christmas, what they did is they gradually expresses images of the nativity scene. <laughs> there, there were so many 
images of the birth of the Lord Jesus that he is laid on the fitting throne. That is the reason why I just want to be honest that even when the America has a problem with Satanism, you will really, really notice that there are so many Christians and you will really, really notice the the very passion in the heart of people the very passion in the heart of people to really let the world know about God because because when it comes to the situation regarding uh, several ministers of the word, several preachers um, uh, uh, you know, preachers, evangelists, uh, worship singers many of the people from the church are really really so eager to reach out to as many people as possible so that when there is poverty of the gospel when there is poverty in the gospel we can be able to work to enrich the human soul that the person understands the truth because it is very important to really to really speak the truth in love because because actually with regards to the moral issues about abortion you know what you can really really feel the very important for righteousness the very importance for righteousness because when you look at the the states that that allow abortion you will really really notice that they are suffering for the immorality because it is very important to really protect the lives of the babies because um it is very important for for the person to understand that the body is the temple of the holy spirit and whoever is united with god is one in spirit with him that's why when it comes to the baby in the womb it is very important to respect the baby because it is a representation of the work of the hands of God that he is the one who can form a child in the very sacredness of the womb womb of a woman that's why when you look at America there are so many things to really really fix we have to we have to to bless the lives of so many people so that they can be free from the influence of satanism and we really have to be helping uh, so many women to really understand what is the true health care because the true health care is to be really really concerned about the 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 well-being of the soul to understand because when we take care of our body it is because of the stewardship because we understand that nothing else is more precious than your soul so when you understand the words of the lord jesus you will really really love to be a good steward of your life most especially it is very important to, to really be concerned about the true health care and when it comes to the lgbtq there are also some issues about it because because the moral uprightness actually is to really to really become reverent to god the moral uprightness is reverence to god that's why when it comes to the lgbtq the way that I have my point of view about them is that it is very beautiful that that however they want to express their gender because of their personality and because of their upbringing I really understand in my heart that the Lord said that I will not refuse those who come to me yeah so so when when I look at that a kind of excuse me I'll just look at up that in the holy bible so this one um yet all those whom the father gives me will come to me and whoever comes to me i shall not turn away it is john 6 37 so thank you i'm checking the holy bible right now so what i'm trying to say is when it comes to the lgbtq when when it comes to the the way that i have my perception about them I have compassion for them because uh, there are some situation regarding the upbringing of a person why a person becomes gay practicing homosexuality because there are several people who encounter sexual molestations when they were children so there is a chance that they have experienced some um, molestation sexually when they were young 
that's why the upbringing that they go through is that they develop the homosexuality as i try to understand the psychology of the situation however as i try to read this scripture yet all those whom the father gives me will come to me and whoever comes to me i shall not turn away so the important situation is there must be love for god in the heart of the person whatever the gender the person chooses to do because the most important is the reverence to god because when the person rever god then the transformation that the lord wills in the person like the person's life it will just come into fruition for what the will of the lord is because the person has a relationship with god so there is a transformation that the person may may desire to be straight or maybe the person wants to remain a gay like you know or remain a lesbian like you know because several people have variety of sexual preferences because because of the environmental factors the friends that they belong to the community that they belong to that's why when it comes to the lgbtq my message about them is just that you know um just love god and know the lord jesus christ because he is the one who loves you and he is the one who forgives your sins and he is the one who embraces your imperfections that that he carry our sins on his own skin by the wounds of the lord we are healed and um yeah because the 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 lord jesus um give us the rope of righteousness because when it comes to the passion of the lord jesus he was in the agony in the garden of gethsemane he was scourged at the pillar he was wrapped with a robe and placed a reed on his hand and pierced the thorns of the crown of thorns upon his scalp and he carried the cross and he fell under the cross many times and because of the perseverance of love he really went through it to carry the cross to the place of the crucifixion and he met the 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 crying blessed mother mary and mother mary show her faithfulness to the lord jesus because because as as the lord jesus is born of the blessed virgin mother mary mother mary really really represented the church so much because she has always been present to the life of the lord jesus for for the, the 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 conception and the birth and the, the the childhood and the growing of the lord and the ministry of the lord the blessed mother mary has always been there and i remember the story from 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 a video that i watch um when the lord jesus carried the cross and mother mary is viewed as how she was running towards the child jesus when the child jesus tripped his foot and mother mary comes running to him and embrace him and sing a song to him and then with the scenario that it is shown that the lord jesus is carrying the cross and mother mary come toward him and mother mary said son i'm here and the lord jesus said that mother i will make all things new you know what uh that very scene that i have found the 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 the, the scene uh s-c-e-n-e -E, from the video that i have found online it is a very beautiful representation that it is very important for the church to be faithful to god that when the lord perseveres in the in the in the passion in his heart to save souls it is very important for 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 the people of god to really really show god faithfulness that that faithfulness to him is the commitment to him like you know we we have relationship with god we pray every every day um we read the word every day um we live by the word every day a man shall not live but by bread alone but by the words that comes from the mouth of god so when it comes to mother mary she is a woman with with immaculate conception that she is chosen uh 
as a pure woman, a pure virgin, to be the mother of our Lord. That's why when it comes to the representation of the church, particularly regarding the situation of uh, when you look at this holy scripture from Ephesians 1, Blessed be God, the Father of Christ Jesus, our Lord, who in Christ has blessed us from heaven with every spiritual blessing. God chose us in Christ before the creation of the world to be holy and without sin in His presence. From eternity, He destined us in love to be His adopted sons and daughters through Christ Jesus, thus fulfilling His free and generous will. This goal suited Him that His loving kindness, which He granted us in His beloved, might finally receive all glory and grace. For in Christ you obtain freedom sealed by his blood and have the forgiveness of sins and in this appears the greatness of his grace which he lavished on us. It is from Ephesians 1. So yeah, as I contemplate about the situation, when it comes to the, the passion of God for the salvation of souls, we may really, really understand that the Lord submitted fully to the will of the Father for that passion, for the crucifixion, that he went to the cross to bear our sin so that we might die to sin and live an upright life. By the wounds of the Lord, we are healed. So it is very beautiful to know that we must avoid sin because, you know, when it comes to loving God, it is similar to how you may perceive the love for a spouse because the situation is you know what there's something that I, I, I want to tell you when you love your spouse you don't want to cheat on your spouse that's why when you feel the very passion to love God you feel that you don't want to sin yeah because you you love God so much however when when there are some weakness that a human person may have then Always repent for sins and acknowledge the Lord's divine mercy and grace because the Lord, with the intensity of His passion, you will really, really understand the intensity that He really, really wills everyone to be saved, that the destiny of a human soul is heaven. Yeah, so, so yeah, because, because actually, I, I really feel compassion particularly about the condition of United States of America because you will really really notice how affluent they are many of them are rich but you know when the natural causes that give struggles to their way of life especially when there are some hurricane you will really really understand that many of them are hurting and the very answer to the problem is prayer um yeah you know what i have encountered from the chronicles that when the when the people humble themselves and pray and then i will heal their land uh yeah because um i'll just double check where i have found that one because because i'm checking the chronicles right now uh yeah so so by the way this is the old testament the chronicle so this one read this one uh, uh this one when i close the skies and there is no rain when i command the locusts to devour the land when i send an epidemic among my people and my people who bear my name humble themselves and pray and look for me and turn from their wicked ways then i myself will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and restore their land it is from the second chronicle so yeah that, that's why that's why i feel i feel really really great compassion for people because because you know um when you look at american soldiers it is very honorable when they serve other nations you know what i saw several soldiers they went to afghanistan and they were carrying babies they were cradling babies around their arms they were protecting the people from from certain group of people so however when you notice the righteousness of a person's heart it is really really loving people with how you see god in each of us yeah that's why that's why you know when you look at the situation 
you you may really really desire purity in the white house because the white house is color white and you know to be honest when i just want to be honest and sincere i really really don't want to support gay marriage because when it comes to to the sacredness and the sanctity of marriage you know what let me just explain to you from what i have found from the book of ephesians uh there, there's something that i read over here um let me double check honey um there is something that i want to read to you over here uh this one um let all kinds of submission to one another become obedience to christ so wives to their husbands as to the lord the husband is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of whom he is also the Savior. And as the church submits to Christ, so let the wife submit in everything to her husband. As for you, husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. He washed her and made her holy by baptism in the word, as he wanted a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any blemish, but holy and blameless. He himself had to prepare and present her to himself. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as they love their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, and no one has ever hated his body. He feeds and takes care of it. That is just what Christ does for the church because we are members of his body. Scripture says, Because of this, a man shall leave his father and mother to be united with his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a very great mystery, and I refer to Christ and the church. As for you, let each one love his wife. As himself and let the wife respect her husband look at this this is a very great mystery and i refer to christ and the church the the marriage the kingdom marriage is very divine and pure that's why it's very important to support a, a very good marriage between a man and a woman that's why i don't support the gay marriage however when it comes to divorce uh, there is some situation about how human need is adapting to the situation of some problems between relationship of individuals because the people who suffer divorce they have heartaches and some of the children from a divorced parents were really really struggling to find their sense of belongingness for the home that they belong to so i want to be kind and gentle with my words regarding divorce because many people are really hurting however it is very advisable that when it comes to relationship between a man and a woman there must be a very good counseling so that a man and a woman may identify what are the areas in their lives that they need to improve so that they can have faithfulness for each other that they may love the person that they choose to be with because it is very important to be mature and to really really raise a family that is why it is very important that before entering marriage the person must be very knowledgeable about the word because the word is our guidance to really know the truth and we will we will be set free um because actually i'll just show you this when so by the way um what i'm trying to say is um there is a oklahoma state promoting the reading of the holy bible and i believe in my heart that there are so many schools that will promote the reading of the holy bible we hope so and um, I believe in my heart that there are so many Americans who are righteous, who really desire to protect human dignity and to really, to really be good people, to love God, to love humanity, and to love the earth, and to express the destiny of a human soul to go to heaven. And having the will of the Lord that on earth as it is in heaven, so a very good quality of life. Um, yeah, to honor God and glorify the Lord. So, yeah, I, I really hope for a very successful election and very peaceful election. And, you know, um, I hope many people will be enlivened that their hopes are raised up with their very desire for purity and holiness and righteousness. And, yeah, for the love, joy, and the peace. So, yeah. God bless America. So yeah, I love you.
take care